the superheroes would put a bat light in the sky or something to let people know that there was some trouble or they need help. We do that with a weather alert. We're bracing for some nasty weather heading our way. It's a weather alert day. I like that comparison. So Batman is WIT 42 <laughs> Storm Track Meteorologist Ted McInerney. Well, we're just here to inform you, and yes, we are seeing some model data coming in. That is a little disturbing. It doesn't mean that we need to panic. It just means that you need to be paying attention. I know a lot going on, Christmas caroling, getting out, doing holiday shopping. Just have that Storm Track weather app handy, handy and be checking the news tomorrow morning on Wake Up and all throughout the day tomorrow on social media. All right, we have declared a weather alert day. So let's go on out and show you exactly what we're tracking for you tomorrow. We do expect severe storms with a few tornadoes possible and a given tornado could happen anywhere in the viewing area. But the bullseye seems to be Jasper, uh, Walker County, Marion County, Winston County, Lamar County, Pickens County, and even into Coleman and Northern Jefferson County. But the best chance is after late afternoon and evening for severe weather. That's why we declare that weather alert day tomorrow. Red means it is severe weather expecting tomorrow. We started it tomorrow at 6 a.m. through Thursday at 6 a.m. to cover all bases. And now as we look live out there, it's all about the numbers now. Those southerly winds now starting to pick up. So the parameters for severe weather are already here now at 1018. And the dew points at 63. The temperatures tomorrow will be in the mid 70s. I want to show you this graphic. This is the dew point forecast. So we're seeing to have uh, dew points in the mid 60s. Tomorrow we could get up to 70. 70 is very moist air. That means it's perfect conditions for severe weather and supercellular development. So we have the cold front will come in later. We were hoping all this convection, which is uh, rain and thunderstorms to the south, would block that moisture. But as you saw from that forecast, uh, we get the moisture in town, folks. So as we go zooming in, we have some light rain down in uh, Chilton County as well as Clay, even out in uh, Etowah as well as in northern Calhoun and Cleburne County, and even into Perry County at this hour. But tomorrow is when everybody is under a slight risk for severe weather. Even the uh, Storm Prediction Center has an enhanced risk for most of our northwestern counties. And so what we can expect for that area is a moderate to elevated risk for Marion, Winston, Coleman, Lamar, Fayette, Pickens County, even northern Tuscaloosa, as well as northern Jefferson County, and even as far um, west as western Blunt County. But everybody is in on the action, but the biggest threat, damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes. Wednesday at noon to 1030 at night, even into the overnight hours. So here's our storm track future cast. We'll see some rain in the morning. Unfortunately, it gets out of here. Now, this is disturbing. We've seen some of these uh, comma-shaped uh, um, cells that are here. That's a supercellular development as early as 2. So we're going to be watching those discrete cells, and the supercells are the ones that can drop the bigger tornadoes that are on the ground for a little bit longer. So that's why you need those fresh batteries in the weather radio and to be following us on social media and all day tomorrow on air. 10 a.m. on Thursday, we still see rain. And actually, this is another thing I'm watching. It's backing up a bit. So we're going to see thunderstorms and rain on Christmas Eve. Don't expect severe weather then. Speaking of Christmas Eve, the temperatures are going to be warm for Santa as he comes into town, but he's good with severe weather or thunderstorms. He can go through anything. He can go through a hurricane. All right, Christmas Day, well, we're still going to have to deal with warm temperatures and a few thunderstorms, but nothing crazy. We're looking at temperatures in the mid-70s for Christmas Day. The next three days, severe weather, weather alert day tomorrow, all day into the early morning hours of Thursday, mid-70s through Christmas and even into the weekend. And another storm system we need to track for Monday. Will it end? It's all due to El Nino warming us all up. But again, this is our secondary tornado season. Go through your safety plans with your family and be weather alert. Guys?